Mark Zuckerman, MassSports.com. David, what stands out to you right now about Brad when he's on the mound? It's just ele elevating pitches. He's got, we got, we got to get him get the ball down. Uh, you know, walking, uncharacteristic walking, uh, walking guys. Um, but we, he's, you know, he's got a good two seamer. We got to get this two seamer to start wor working down. I mean, that pitch he threw to McCutcheon was up out over the plate. And, you know, that's where uh, Andrew likes the ball. When he's been on this year, he's been really good. But it's when he's been off, it it's like gone completely the other direction. There hasn't been a lot of middle ground there. As you see an inning start to go out of control, do you do you feel like he's got a chance to get out of that? And you know, what do you think he has to do to get out of that when it's not going right? Hey, like I said, he's got to make he's got to make make the pitches, um, work ahead, and get the ball down. You know, get when he gets the ball down, it's a, you know, typically ground balls. Um, he throws that ball four inches down. It's a I think it's a different game. I think that's a ground ball. You know, so uh, and then the walk. You know, um, the walk to to uh, to Harper. And now all of a sudden the winning run comes on uh, you know, to hit. So, um, but we got to get him, we got to get him down in the zone again. You talked the last couple of days about uh, guys trying to block out whatever else might be going on. What do you feel like the mood is in your clubhouse right now? Hey, look, you know, um, we're, we're playing, we're battling, we're playing hard. You can see it in the guys. I mean, uh, we came up today, you know, uh, two line drive outs with guys in scoring position. You know, Zim pinch hits, hits a bullet to center. Uh, Jay Hay comes out, man, a first and second and hits a bullet to third base. So uh, they're battling, you know, they're not, they're not giving up. I can tell you that, they're, you know, they're, they're positive. You know, the energy has been good um, and we're going to keep battling. Jesse Dockerty, Washington Post. I mean, we're not we're not in there right now like we usually are to gauge kind of what the mood is. So can can you maybe give us some um, some insight in these last few days when you guys have suffered some really tough losses? What the overall sort of kind of feeling is in the clubhouse. If there's a guy stepping up, if anyone's you know saying anything, um, what's what's kind of going on in there? Uh, you know, uh, like you said, it's tough losses. Of course, the mood's going to be a little dismal right now because um, we just lost another tough game. But you know, like I've always tell these guys, hey, you got 30 to 45 minutes to you know think about the game, and then after that, let it go. I mean, we got like I said, we got another game tomorrow. I'll put that one behind us. There's nothing we can do about it now. So let's focus on on. Uh, I'll get a good night's sleep and playing, playing and going one and all tomorrow. David with Joe, um, he was really sharp through five. Was that 72 kind of count around what you wanted him at coming off the injury, or was it also influenced by the bases loaded situation? I guess can you walk us through maybe why no, he was out there after five? No, that was it. I mean, that was uh, we wanted about 75 pitches, and he threw the ball well. Uh, I can see his arm slot was trying to drop just just a tad. And uh, you know, like I said, we just got him. We got it. We just got him back. Uh, I want to be extra careful with him. Thank you. Yeah. Paul Casella, MLB.com. Uh, Dave, you had that big fourth inning, and then didn't have another hit until the ninth. Do you feel like you kind of let him off the hook there? You could have piled on a little more. Against the bullpen. Yeah, like I said, we had bases loaded. One Zim comes in, hits a hits a a, a, a missile to center field, um, and then Jay Hay comes up first and second, and hits a bullet to third. You know. Uh, and any uh, two feet one way or the other, you know, we, we got a bunch of runs. So, um, but that's the, you know, that's baseball. That's how the game goes. So like I said, we gotta, we gotta continue to play hard. These guys are playing hard. They're not going to give up and we're just going to keep battling. You know, things will turn around with we'll those, those balls will start falling for us. Uh, you know, we'll get, we'll get the bullpen straightened out and we'll, we'll start winning some games again. Matt Weirich, NBC Sports Washington. David, Austin Vogt's been having a, a bit of a rough stretch here. Are you seeing anything different from him compared to earlier this season? Yeah, you know, his, his breaking ball, you know, he, he's uh, when he throws it, he's throwing throwing it up. He's not throwing the, the, the sharp breaking ball that we, he's typical throwing. Um, and he's falling behind a lot. He's not throwing, he's not attacking the strike zone. Uh, you know, he's missing, you know, 0-2, he's not not, um, not attacking the strike zone. He's, you know, he's nitpicking a little bit too much. So um, I'll have a conversation with him tomorrow, see how he's doing. And uh, try to talk to them just about putting guys away. Oh, two, one, two, um, and not letting get letting them get back in account. You've used hand in the ninth back-to-back -back games. Do you foresee him being available tomorrow? Or is that going to kind of depend? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. Um, you know, it's always based on conversation the next day. So we'll see how he feels tomorrow. Thanks, Maria Torres, the athletic. Hey, Davey. Um... In that third inning, there was a ground ball from Segura where um, Trey went to first um, and let Howard 
um, left them on the bases there. What did you see in that play? And was that an intentional move on Trey's part? No, I think um, right before that happened, we had just moved uh, uh, Escobar over more towards the, the hole there. Um, but he didn't think he gets in a base, so he communicated with Trey that, you know, just go to first base if the ball is hit. I mean, you know, two things right there. You know, I'm glad they talked about it. And the other thing is you got a, you got a pitcher running, you know, and uh, the slow ground ball. Uh, Trey just opted to get the out of first. And Mark Zuckerman, MassaSports.com. Dave, you mentioned needing to try to get the bullpen straightened out. You've had your like three, sometimes four guys that you've trusted in those uh, high leverage spots. Is there anyone else from the group that you want to start looking in those situations? Anybody else that you feel like has earned uh, well, the Sam, right to, to pick know, some of those innings? Sam came in, you know, in, in a big moment, you know, got the lefty out, which was awesome. You know, uh, it was good to see, you know, uh, you know, Swear was, you know, we got to get Swirl, you know, in there. Um, you know, as, as you know, he struggled out of late, so. Uh, but those guys, all these guys, have got gonna, got to pitch, and and you know they're, you're going to be pitched sometimes in high leverage situations. But the guys, you know, Finnegan's throwing the ball well. You know, Hudson's throwing the ball well. Hand, hands are closer. Um, you know, Suero, uh, uh, Sam Clay, um, those guys uh, have got to come up big for us and yeah, big moments as well.